A new video recently came out highlighting PepsiCo's experience so far with the 21 Tesla semi-trucks at their Sacramento facility. And in addition to comments from a director, manager, and supervisor from the company, several drivers also shared their personal experience with the Tesla semi as well. In this video, I wanna discuss the details about how well the Tesla semi fleet is performing for PepsiCo based on this video. And I want to share what the actual drivers had to say about the truck. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. The North American Council for Freight Efficiency, or NACFE, recently published this video on their website runonless.com, which highlights PepsiCo's transition to electric transportation, and the majority of this video focuses in on the Tesla Semi itself. Now, beyond what a director, a manager, and a supervisor, etc., had to say about the Tesla Semi, and I will dive into that information, I want to start off first with um, some of the reactions that were shared for some drivers that have actually been driving the Tesla semis for PepsiCo. First of all, driver Rihanna Castro mentioned that a lot of other long haul drivers ask questions about the Tesla semi. Um, and I assume this is when it's out, um, out on the road and at truck stops, etc. And Rihanna specifically mentioned, quote, I tell them it's so comfortable. It's so easy to drive. You're so close to the front of the tractor, your visibility is amazing. Next, driver Ernesto Sandoval mentioned specifically about driving the Tesla Semi, quote, I do about 400 plus miles a day. Being in a good truck, comfortable, drives great. It makes a world of difference on my day. I don't hurt as much. Tesla is known to have very comfortable seats, and apparently the cabin of the Tesla Semi is extremely comfortable. And as Ernesto said here, um, it does help a lot and makes the drive a lot more comfortable, um, which is a huge benefit for a driver, especially a driver like Ernesto here, which drives um, 400 plus miles a day. That's a lot of miles to drive in a really comfortable semi cabin makes a big difference. The third driver, Casey Theon mentioned, quote, the turn radius is awesome. It's better than my car. It's a lot more comfortable, they're quieter, they're smoother, they look nicer. That's some pretty incredible feedback from these real world drivers. And although it wasn't something that was specifically mentioned in the video, when you have a vehicle like a Tesla Semi in your fleet, it can help you actually um, attract new talent, new drivers for your company. And um, it's definitely a recruiting tool. I would imagine that if you're a truck driver and you're looking at various companies, I would personally pick the company in which I could drive a Tesla Semi as my a main vehicle instead of a traditional semi truck. And so not only as we'll talk about later on in the video, does a Tesla Semi help with the cost of transportation? It also can be a great recruiting tool as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the specific facility we're talking about here is the Sacramento PepsiCo facility. And that facility has 21 Tesla Semis right now. And when it comes to how PepsiCo is using those 21 Tesla semis, apparently at this particular Pepsi facility in Sacramento, um, they're using the Tesla semi for two different kinds of routes. Um, the first one is shorter routes, and they run this apparently, according to Amanda DeVoe, they run a lot of um, under 100 mile a day trips, but then they run the Tesla semi for 12 hours a day. But they also use the Tesla Semi for long haul deliveries as well. And this was specifically brought up by um, Dejan Antunovic, and I may not be saying that name correctly, but Dejan specifically mentioned, quote, out of our 21 assets of Tesla Semi that we have here, three of them are dedicated to long haul over the road routes. Now, one of the great things about the Tesla Semi, and this cannot be said about the competition, when we'll talk more about the competition later on in the video as well, but the Tesla Semi works well for short haul trips. That's common for electric trucks, short haul trips, but it can also uh, be used for long haul applications, over the road um, applications as well. Now, as a reminder, um, Tesla shared this particular chart 
back at the semi delivery event on December 1st, and they showed that a fully loaded Tesla semi was able to travel 500 miles on a single charge. And if you look at the starting and ending percentages here, you can see that this particular trip only used around 93% of the actual battery capacity available. Now, beyond that test that Tesla shared publicly, um, PepsiCo is actually using the Tesla semi for long trips as well. And these are beverage loads from the PepsiCo facility in Sacramento. We're not talking about hauling chips here. Dejan mentioned, quote, the routes may vary between, let's call it 250 miles up to 450 miles. So we have been aggressive to push the limit and demonstrate that we are able to achieve a very high range with a fully loaded tractor with that fleet. Now, beyond real world range, what about real world efficiency? Back in early December of 2022, Elon mentioned that the Tesla semi current efficiency was 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Well, that number seems to be holding up in real life applications here because in this video, Dejan mentioned, quote, for the past several months, we've been able to stay below 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile in terms of efficiency of this fleet. So it's great to hear once again this number that Elon Musk shared back in December of last year. It's great to know that that number is actually holding up in real world applications. Um, that's a very encouraging thing. Now, when you compare that efficiency to say like the competition, the electric semi truck competition, you can see here based on the competition, not only is the Tesla semi more efficient when it comes to how many kilowatt hours are needed to travel per mile, but you can see there that the range is also quite a bit better as well. When it comes to how that efficiency compares to its diesel competition, you have to do a little bit of a conversion here and you have to get the mile per gallon equivalent number. And that's really quite easy to do because all you need to do is find out how much energy is stored in a gallon of diesel. And that number apparently is around 37.1 kilowatt hours of energy in a gallon of diesel. And that number comes from a Motor Trend article. So if you do the math and you use an efficiency of 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, and you divide 37.1, which once again is the amount of energy in a gallon of diesel, if you divide that by 1.7, that means that the mile per gallon equivalent fully loaded for the Tesla Semi is around 22. And that compares to um, other diesel trucks fully loaded, like the average semi truck fully loaded, which gets somewhere around 6.5 miles per gallon, or one of the more efficient trucks fully loaded, the Freightliner Cascadia Evolution, which gets around nine to 10 miles per gallon. This helps make the Tesla Semi quite a bit of a benefit to a company when it comes to operational cost. And not even taking into account the solar power on top of PepsiCo's um, Sacramento facility, which according to runonless.com, that Sacramento facility has 1.2 megawatts of solar installed and around 2.4 megawatt hours of backup battery storage. The Tesla Semi should be saving PepsiCo quite a bit as compared to a regular diesel Semi. Now, this is a topic that Tesla did bring up back when they unveiled the Tesla Semi back in 2017. And Tesla put up this chart and I've added these numbers here for added context here. But according to Tesla's calculations back in 2017, they said here at that time that a Tesla Semi would save operators around 25 cents per mile versus the average diesel truck. However, those numbers are old and we're here in 2023 and we need some updates on that. So back in December of 2022, I actually did some calculations to bring those numbers more up to date and I adjusted for inflation and higher fuel costs. And based on those calculations, once again, from December of 2022, I estimated at that point that a Tesla semi would save operators around 48 cents per mile. And that was based on more up to date numbers. So adding the Tesla semi to PepsiCo's fleet not only has environmental benefits, but it should offer a lot of cost saving benefits as well. Going back to that video, Dejan did make some comments about the regen, the benefits of regen with the Tesla Semi. And Dejan specifically brought up the example of when they drive from Sacramento to Nevada, they cross Donner's Pass. And Dejan specifically mentioned, quote, we're able to, on the trip back, actually zero out in terms of state of charge improving due to regenerative braking. That extends range for us. Of course, regenerative braking is a benefit on Tesla's other electric vehicles, but I believe it's especially important for a vehicle like a semi-truck. 
um, and the ability to pretty much gain back a good portion of energy when you go down a large hill, that's really amazing. A diesel truck obviously cannot do that. You can't recoup diesel once it's been used, um, but you can recoup energy uh, with regen braking. So that's a huge benefit. Now, a uh, one last topic that I wanna bring up here is charging. Now at PepsiCo Sacramento facility, they do have four 750 kilowatt Tesla chargers installed. I'm not sure why they're limited to 750 kilowatts because at the Tesla semi delivery event, um, it was mentioned and this slide was put up showing that um, Tesla's next gen chargers, specifically here in the context of the Tesla semi, um, should be capable of one megawatt plus of DC charging. But nonetheless, the chargers at the Pepsi facility in Sacramento um, offer 750 kilowatts, which is still very high powered charging. And Dejan specifically mentioned charging from 0% to 80% in the Tesla Semi in 45 minutes. However, the website where this video is published, runonless.com, has a slightly different number for charging speed. And the Tesla Semi is listed here as going 0 to 75% in that same 45 minutes. So I'm not sure which number is correct, but if we use that lower number, a zero to 75% charge in 45 minutes and compare that to the competition, as you can see on this chart, the Tesla semi charges much quicker than the competition and is able to add quite a few more miles per minute of charging. Now, unfortunately, the Tesla semi is still in limited production. But in the future, when they expand Gigafactory Nevada to include not only 4680 battery cell production, but also Tesla semi production, we will hopefully see eventually 50,000 plus of these Tesla semis being built per year. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.